All right, let's get started. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being in with another episode of PTZ Optics Live. You can see behind me we have Chris Burgos and Andy Chatfield. Hold the applause, hold the applause. I need to do a little bit of an a introdu introductory uh, session here, but we're going to jump right into this. So what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the new tech NDI. Yes, we will. And this new Connect Pro app. What is it? Well, you're going to find out, and we're going to go into all those details. But before we do, I just want to say to everybody, happy 4th of July. Well, it's not 4th of July, but it was a couple days ago, and uh, I hope you all had a fun 4th of July. I had, I had a lot of fun. Um, so happy birthday, America, um, home of the free. So I wanted to just say, uh, do, start with a couple funny jokes here. So we found out that there's a study by Inc.com about video conferencing and live streaming hosts like me, like other people on the internet. And what they found was quite striking. And I'm not making this up. There's a lady named Minda Zetlin. And she found out that 11% of people that do video conferencing do not bother to put on pants. Okay, and that is the same with live streaming shows. All these people online, you can't see it, but I'm wearing shorts and, um, and sl sandals. But I promise you, I am wearing some sort of pants. 11% um, of people don't even bother to put, take off their pajamas. And this isn't surprising, but 59% of people reported they feel self-conscious on camera. But millennials, it's actually the flip side. So on, on millennials, actually 58% of 25 to 34-year-olds feel more comfortable on video than they do talking to people face to face. <laughs> so that's the new world we live in. We have a giveaway today, everybody. Every single live show, we're going to give away a $10 gift card. If you're a tech geek like me, you maybe you want Best Buy, maybe Amazon, help you buy that thing you wanted. Or you know, if you're just a regular everyday Joe, maybe you want a, a cup of Joe, maybe you want a Starbucks gift card. To get this, you have to comment on this video. So we're going to be waiting about 24 hours, looking at all the comments. Whoever has the most interesting comment will win the $10 gift card. So what is this Connect Pro app? Well, I promise you I'm going to give the rest of this show to Andy and Chris Burgos here who's going to talk about it. But I wanted to just do a brief introduction. Of course, you cannot talk about the NewTek NDI without crediting Andrew Cross, the CEO and CTO of NewTek. So I just want to give full credit where it's due. Um, Andy Chatfield's here. Um, Andy is our lead support technician. Many of you have met with him, talked with him, maybe for good or for bad, but he probably solved your problem eventually. He knows the New Tech Connect app pretty well, and he is here. Um, and of course, the famous Chris Burgos is here as well. Um, so we're really happy to have all of you here. Um, oh, sorry, still have one or two more slides. Um, so we've got Chris, we've got Andy, and what is the new tech? Well, it's going to bridge formats, and I'm going to let these guys go into more detail. It's going to add sources to your TriCaster. It is going to be a source manager for you. It's going to do a lot of different stuff. And by the way, here's my email address. If you ever want to be on the show, if you ever want anything to do with the company, paul.richards at ptzoptics.com. We want you guys on the show. We want to uh, have the integrators. We want to have everybody on the show that we can. So with that kind of thing, like you were doing, Paul, but mostly behind the scenes, in front of the camera. So I'm a little jealous. <laughs> well, uh, I I do think that uh, you have a really important role over there at New Tech. I did just notice that our live stream went down for a second, and it's back. Um, we must have had a little bandwidth blip. Everyone who told me to live stream in 720, you're right. All right, we do this in 1080p30 every day. I am not going to 1080p60 for this exact reason. I probably should have stuck with 720, but we are live, guys. We are on. Um, sorry about that, everyone. It's it's the there's probably other people using my bandwidth. I need to I need to knock their computers out. Okay, so Chris, tell us about the new Tech Connect Pro app, and then I'm going to switch over to that video where you can, everyone's going to be able to see it and everything. Sure. Uh, in a nutshell. 
Connect Pro is sort of this all-encompassing app to getting extra sources into your TriCaster. As you know, we released the i this year, and if you wanted to add, let's say, cameras, maybe you wanted to add some new media sources, maybe you just wanted to add a stream, Connect Pro is really the, the all-encompassing application. It's almost like our Rosetta Stone. It allows us to, like I said, take cameras externally, get them to a computer, and now those, those are now available to our TriCaster all over the IP using NDI. It's this really phenomenal application. So uh, what I'm going to do, and Andy, I don't know if you want, you're actually in this video, Andy, and I'm, I'm sure most people can see this here, but you want to just walk them through what's going on in this little video? Um, yeah, so in this video, I pull in, um, I have the camera above my desk, the two sources on the left. One is a USB and one is a uh, RTSP feed that I'm pulling into the, uh, the, the Connect Pro app. And then the... In, but is this kind of like a what you would call a stop gap? Stop gap, Chris. Does this allow people to use like IP streaming uh, cameras as like an NDI camera? Yes. Effectively, yeah. This Connect Pro is basically going to be sort of your easiest and straightforward way today that you can take your PTZ optics, existing cameras, and now bring them into your TriCaster workflows, and it's a really awesome solution. And the bonus is that each uh, copy of Connect Pro allows you to do four different streams. So uh, as we showed in the video, we, we can pull two different cameras in with relative ease. And now, hey, those are available for us to switch with on our track tester. Oh, that's better now. Gotcha. And uh, we did get a little bit attacked by the dark side earlier, guys. Um, as you noticed, our stream went down for a little bit. I think this is what happened. What have you done with those plans? Hello. This is a consular ship. Where is the ambassador? Comic relief whenever there's a, a stream blip. But so, okay, so sorry about that, guys. Back to the video. Um, so as you can see here, now Andy's in the TriCaster. So I, can, I can everyone see that? Um, Andy's in the TriCaster. And so I guess what you're doing here is that everything that goes into the Connect Pro app is now an NDI source in the TriCaster. Is that what's going on? Exactly, yeah. That's yeah, 100%. Yep. So, Chris, tell us a little bit about uh, where you see people using this, um, you know, a little bit more in depth here. Yeah, so, you know, uh, each, each TriCaster that's NDI enabled is getting four new sources to choose from. And so if you take a, a full broadcast scenario where they've already got eight cameras hooked in directly into their TriCaster, well, now Connect Pro will allow them to add these four PCZ cameras, effectively, effectively allowing them to switch 12 different cameras in their show. This is a really big thing for the broadcast level guys. And then on the lower level was the TriCaster where we only had four inputs. Well, now we've got eight. And that's huge because, you know, you didn't have to spend a lot of money and you were able to get this full scale production. So adding Connect Pro, using PPZ Optics cameras, it's a great marriage to just expand the amount of camera sources you have. And, and where you go from there, just improve your quality of your broadcast, make that better show. So uh, we actually went through that video fairly quickly. Um, Chris, did you want to share your screen and tell us a little bit about um, the Connect Pro from your side, or do you want me to, or do you want to just continue the broadcast the way it's going now, or how do you want to do that? Uh, I let me pull this up. Give me a second here, Paul. So if you hit the, um, the share screen button, that will take the whole. Uh, you'll you'll have the whole broadcast to yourself there, um, which would be awesome. And I'll let you do that. Um, so. It is. It's coming through. This is Chris' screen here, everybody. Okay. Yes. So uh, here's an example of Connect Pro. Um, as we were talking about, we have our different. Uh, we can use these as either inputs or outputs. So you know, without making NDI too complicated, because it actually is very simple. Uh, all if, if I have anything going into my laptop, I can now make that NDI enabled. So I could go in here, and we can come in and choose a source. And uh, what Andy was showing you guys earlier was. He actually chose an IP stream off of uh, his camera. Uh, you can see I have two Apple sources in here locally. But basically, I can add these sources in, and now these sources will be available to me on my TriCaster. So as long as this system is on the same network as the TriCaster is, I just got that video across. And the beautiful thing about NDI is we're not seeing any issues with frame loss. We're not seeing any issues with delay. Whatever's happening on the camera is whatever we're going to get to our system. And uh, we, we can also go in depth and say, hey, look, we have all eight audio channels here. We can add audio delay and video delay if we need to. Um, and we can begin to add metadata. We can name the channel. 
so that when we go to our TriCaster, if I wanted to, to label the PTZ camera with a specific name like overhead desk, I could add that name in, and when I go to my TriCaster, I can actually pull that metadata in, so I don't actually have to guess what camera I'm choosing. I can name everything and give it all those pieces, as well as I have all the same things I'm used to in my TriCaster workflow. I have a procedure, I have a proc amp, I have a color balance, white balancing, and I can do these sort of changes where if, if for whatever reason I need to make a last minute tweak on my camera, I can actually go to my Connect Pro app and just maybe increase the brightness that little bit or maybe change the red that little bit before I get to my show. So Connect Pro actually is a really powerful app to expanding your production. Wow. That looks incredible. Um, so, so the last thing I wanted to get, go through really quickly, Paul, and this is one that a lot of people don't know about, which is we have a web server here. And, and this is something really cool that I really like with something like PTZ optics cameras. If I hooked up four PTZ cameras, even two PTZ cameras up to this, I could actually open that web page on this computer or on another computer and view those cameras before as they're going to the TriCaster. So I could make like my own specialized multi-viewer for exclusively my PTZ optics cameras. And then if I had a producer or somebody who wants to see how those cameras are looking, they could look at that website and, and see those cameras by themselves. Inside and outside your network, or just inside your network? Uh, right now, it's just inside the network. But you know, uh, as you talked about earlier, I mean, NDI is constantly coming out with new things on, uh, on a monthly, or weekly basis. So you know, it wouldn't be a far stretch for that to be something maybe down the line. But mm -hmm. as, at a minimum, you could have somebody you know inside your studio, you know, just on a different laptop, pull this website up and say, okay, I want to see the different NDI feeds that we have coming through our Connect app, and they could just view all four PTZ optic cameras. Now, is that something you can show us now? Uh, I could. I just have to get a piece of media content rolling. So I didn't okay. prep this exactly. Let's see. Um, get a piece of media. And, uh, I'm actually going to stop the share for a second, and then I'll, I'll, I'll hook it back in, and we'll, we'll have it all. So Not a problem. Really I, I, I prepared something specifically for a time like this. And now, okay. Your Highness, we will discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. Her resistance to... And now, Your Highness, we will discuss the location of your hidden rebel base. Uh, Just a few clips okay. from Mr. Vader over there. Um, and then, for 4th of July, why not? few clips, you know, just for fun. Um, that was supposed to be one of the jokes that I mistold about Katy Perry. But, um, yeah, so while Chris is doing that, um, I'm just going to cube over to this view here and uh, just kind of talk about the different... So you can see Andy, obviously, in this video. This video uh, shows... And it's on... Andy has his own YouTube channel where he posts tutorial videos. But uh, it's available there. And it just takes you through how you can add PTZ Optics cameras to the Connect Pro app and then they are available all over the network one Cat5 cable to um, the TriCaster. Now here is where it gets even better. I'm probably not allowed to say this but I'm going to say it anyway. PoE is coming soon and that would mean you would have power for the camera and uh, control for the camera and directly video to the TriCaster for the camera one network connection. So that's coming really yeah, soon. It's be a pretty cool integration. Um, and that's going to, I mean, that's going to make it so you could put four PTZ optics cameras out in the field. Now, Chris, tell us about the latency because this is not true NDI. Is it? What, what's not true NDI? Excuse me? Uh, so tell us about the latency because I, I think we were talking to, um, to Andrew, your, your, C, your CTO, CEO, and I think what he was saying is that there was like 150 milliseconds of latency using... Um, an IP stream from a PTZ optics camera into um, the TriCaster using this. Is that correct, would you say? Okay, so, so yeah, so I, uh, the nature of the IP stream is that it's adding the, some piece of latency and then that's getting converted on the connect, and that's going through the connect. So uh, NDI inherently is not adding any latency, but, uh, uh, and this is not, you know, this this happens depending on the camera setups. But inherently, what's happening is grabbing the IP stream is then having the issue before it comes in to the TriCaster. 
And yes. it's 150 milliseconds. It's not that crazy. Um, yeah, and, and the actual NDI is only like a line of latency, so not mm -hmm. even a frame. Uh, and you're talking about like 10 milliseconds, um, something that the human eye can't perceive. But uh, there's probably a little bit more to do with the IP streaming there. Yes, exactly. And of course, we're working to have it a native integration that would eliminate all, pretty much all latency, like you mentioned. So a little bit of latency. Obviously, it's still good for most video shots. You may still want to hardwire your main camera with the lip syncing. You know, if there's you know for higher end broadcasts. But uh, this definitely will get your IP cameras into the TriCaster with ease and minimal latency. So Chris, just let me know when you're ready to show that off, and we'll we'll yeah, transfer. Yeah, I'm just pulling up the uh, web server now. I uh, I got a piece of media streaming. I'm just just give me a little bit. And Andy, is, uh, um, Andy, while we're waiting top. for that, uh, tell us a little bit about your the customers using PTZ Optics cameras with TriCasters. If they want to control a PTZ Optics camera from a TriCaster, how are they going to do that? Um, well, it depends how they want to control the camera. If they want to control it just standard serial control, like a Visca connection, they can do it through the interface of the TriCaster itself. Um, you would just have to use a USB to DB9 dongle that mm -hmm. would then run a serial connection to your camera, and you should be able to control it using the interface of the TriCaster. Um, if you're looking for IP control of the PTZ Optics cameras, you'd have to use a third-party piece of software from Rokosoft IP control software that would allow mm -hmm. the, the cameras to be controlled on the TriCaster itself. You could also set up the cameras to be on the network and use an IP joystick to yes. control them over the network. Mm -hmm. um, you can go to the web interface for each camera and control them through that as well. Oh, wow. So there's quite a few ways you can do that then. Yeah. Um, I'm all good to show you guys the uh, web server when you guys get a, a second. All right, show us that web server because that seems like a really cool um, part of the New Tech Connect Pro app, and that's built into the Connect Pro app, correct? Yes, this is this is a part of Connect Pro, and again, I always like to bring this up because this is a a piece that a lot of people don't really know about or don't really explore because it's sort of like you know it's available to you, but maybe you ha like when you launched it, you didn't quite grasp what it was doing. But uh, I'm going to share the screen now, and so what we actually have going on is I'm showing the web server. The, hmm. the, see, if you look at my website up here, it's just local host, and it, I, I, I'm actually able to see different things that are NDI enabled, and I can actually go in and click on one of these and change my NDI sources. And when I come over here, I can see these are the media clips. So I play this media clip. This is my NDI Connect Pro, New Tech Connect Pro, and mm -hmm. now this is my, my, my Web Connect server, and I'm wow. watching the stream as it's happening. So I'm seeing the video. So if you guys could just imagine the same setup where I hooked in a PTZ Optics camera, I could actually go to this input over here and pick the PTZ Optics camera. Now, right now, these are all using the generic name of the laptop, which is sales, my, my sales laptop. But again, like I said before, if we had that metadata, we could even see the names of the cameras. So when Andy was setting up the camera overhead on him, he could call it overhead cam, and he would be there, and you could pick it up really quickly. So this is something that you could give available and, and have access to this website so that someone else on your team could watch it. If a producer wanted to just see what's coming to the Connect, they could have access to all this. And I can actually add another piece of media in here. Uh, I'll show I'll show this. We did this live. Um, I could add, let's say, this multicam piece. Play this guy out. And then and we'll come over to the web server. And if I come over here, it's going to load up. And we can pull in the web server feed just like that. So, again, I'm using this for media for ease of demonstration. But this could easy as, as, just as well be PTZ optics camera. So, Chris, uh, tell me about the capture cards. So, is this meant to be on a computer so that you can have a whole bunch of capture cards coming in, or how does that all work? So, so we're supporting, uh, if you wanted to use uh, an SDI camera, in this case, a PTZ optics camera's SDI out, and have that integrated with your uh, new tech NDI workflow, we support a, a, a crew of capture cards. So we've got Aja, we've got Blackmagic, DeltaCast, uh, Magewell, Matrox. Recently we got Bluefish. So we're, we're allowing people to support a, a large variety of, of capture cards. And, and what's really cool about NDI is, I mean, right now your native TriCache is going to 1080, but NDI is actually almost resolution free. It's, it's agnostic of re resolution. So going to the future, you know, NDI is going to be able to support some of these uh, higher-end features on some of these larger capture cards. 
you know, if we're thinking about the future of something like, I don't know, UHD or 4K or 8K or whatever that may be, NDI doesn't care about that. So pairing Connect Pro with an, a capture card is going to really enable you to do lots of cool things as the tech continues to move on. NDI is effectively future-proof. And then pairing it with a nice capture card and using some nice PTZ cameras, you, gain, you leverage a lot of these different aspects. All right, great. Well, Chris, I think that's a great point to end on. And then what we're going to do is have a post-show for questions and answers. So, guys, I'm going to roll the credits. Anyone who has questions for us, stick around. As soon as the credits are over, we're going to be here to answer questions. Uh, so I'm going to roll those credits, and we will be back shortly.